What's up, guys? So I had a couple of people uh, send me an email and ask me, how do I take a screenshot using my computer? And how come every time I take screenshots, you guys are seeing uh, arrows and all the cool things that I'm able to do when I take screenshots? Well, I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot in three different ways on a Mac. And I'm going to show you really the only way I know of on a uh, Windows computer. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my screen on the side over here and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So if you have a uh, Mac, you have three options. The first thing you can do is if you just want to take a screenshot of this page right here, all you got to do is hit Command Shift 3 and it'll take a picture of the entire screen. Or you can hit Command Shift 4 and the crosshairs will open up and you can take a picture of just a section. If you have it set up right, what you just took should be waiting for you on the desktop and then you can add it to your Word document and you're good to go. Now, how I take screenshots are, those are the ways I take screenshots when I want to do something really quick. If I'm on a website or an online class and I want to just take one real quick, that's what I do. I usually do control shift three, get the whole picture and deal with it later. But if you want to do the cooler things that I do, you can do this. You can download what's called Skitch. And Skitch is 100% free. It's available in the Mac App Store. And it is awesome. It allows you to annotate anything you want. So you take any picture you want and you can completely customize it. You can add color to it. You can change things around. It's very, very, very simple to use. Uh, you just drag it as soon as you're done right to the desktop and there it is and they're showing you right here that you can use it as a picture you can use it in a, a word document there's you can put it in Excel I mean hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different ways you can use it it's got 200 um, five-star ratings and great customer reviews and again it's hundred percent free and the app is awesome let me show you the app so what what happens is on the toolbar you'll have a little picture of a heart and every time you open sketch this is what will come up. And this is a screenshot I took recently of our class. So let's say I want to take a screenshot using Sketch. What I'll do is, um, let me bring up the Explorer or my Google Chrome. Bring up Google Chrome and we'll take a screenshot using Sketch. You hit snap, crosshairs come up, boom. Screenshots taken. Here it is. You want to resize it? Okay, resize it. You want to add an arrow? Okay, add an arrow. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get any easier than this. You want to, you know, put a circle around something, put a circle around something. You can change the color of it. I mean, there's all these really cool things that you can do. Uh, you know, you can put a box around stuff. <clears throat> you can type anything you want in any section that you want. You know, you can change the font around, hundreds and hundreds of things. And when you're done, you just drag here and boom, it'll go right to the desktop. That's it. That's all you got to do. And now it's waiting for me on the desktop. Hello. Pretty cool. Um, I like this app a lot. I really, really, really do. It works really, really well. Um, and the things you can do with it, you know, they get people's attention. They really are cool. Um, the, now, if you're using a... Windows computer, <clears throat> let's open Windows right now. The only option you have available, and here's Windows, uh, the only option you have available is to use this called snipping tool, which I really never have used um, before. There it is. So you want to use new, just click new, select a snip type from the menu freeform or rectangular snip so you can use it okay I see so the crosshairs come up you want to take it boom it's taken there you go save it and you're good to go so briefly just to recap this is how you take screenshots using Macintosh and using a Windows computer it's very simple and very easy to do if you have any other questions please feel free to email me and I hope you guys have a good day